All right, so uh, in this video we will look at uh, another addressing uh, mechanism which is called uh, indirect addressing. So in this uh, we basically uh, start our program and inside our data segment we have all our variables and arrays. So let's say we have uh, an array 1 of type byte it has these elements and we also have an array of array by the name of array 2 which is of type word it has these elements similarly array 3 of type double word that is each element occupying four bytes and it has these elements so now we start our code segment and our main procedure so in indirect addressing what we do is we move the offset of these arrays into any 32-bit register and it always has to be a 32-bit register so right now we are using the ESI register and we move the offset of let's say array 1 inside ESI we move the offset of array 2 inside EDI and we move the offset of array 3 inside let's say EAX Now we can access all these elements of these arrays using these registers by writing for example move AL comma or rather move BL comma ESI. Now since ESI is pointing towards array 1 this instruction will move the first element of array 1 which is 10 hexadecimal into BL. So after this instruction you should have inside BL 10 hexadecimal and also if I have the same instruction if I copy it here and instead of BL if I write BX I will not get any error and it will just go to this uh, address to which whatever ESI has inside it which is the first the address of the first element of array 1 and it will fetch two bytes from that location because the destination operand here is BX which is a, a word type of register or two bytes uh, in size so it will fetch two values that is the first element and second element of array 1 and the value which will be moved into BX will now be after this instruction it will be uh, 1100 hexadecimal or 1110 hexadecimal so this 11 becomes the most significant byte of this and this 10 becomes a least significant byte because of little Indian order as discussed. Now similarly if we try to move inside um, uh, the contents of array 2 inside some register for example uh, the CX register so if you write move CX comma ESI or uh, EDI then this should move the first element of array 2 because EDI has the offset of array 2 inside it so it should move the first element of array 2 and we should have this value inside CX after this instruction. This of course has a leading zero with it and but that is uh, you know uh, understood. So you can check the values of these instructions or the uh, result of these instructions by using the dump register function like this. You can paste one after each instruction and this should be able to this should uh, help you in understanding the effect of this and similarly you can also have move edx comma uh, eax and this will fetch the first element of array 3 and will move into edx but remember when you're using indirect addressing you will not get an out of bounds array and you uh, error of uh, out of bounds and you will not get an error if the destination operand is larger or smaller than the value that it is pointing to. 